Hello everyone, how are you all? Rachel here for our usual Thursday tutorial time. But this week might be a little bit longer. I've allocated up to an hour and a half because you all voted that you'd rather, well not all, but most of you voted that you would prefer to have this tutorial all in one rather than in two parts. And I get that because when I've looked at other tutorials before, it's so faffy, isn't it? Trying to find part one and part two. So, hi Carol, hello Jane, thank you for joining, hello Anne. So, on that tune of finding um, tutorials, I have uploaded, in the last three weeks, I've uploaded eight of our Facebook tutorials, so that's equivalent to two months worth. So working back from here, so you can now access them. And I've got 80 tutorials on there. Some are really, really old, so bear with me on that. But nonetheless, I thought I'd keep all of them on there because you get the idea of everything. Hello, Francis. Hello, Hilary. So here is a sneaky peek of what we're going to do tonight. So I'm not going to chat too much in the intro because I want to get stuck straight in. I have done a bit of a Blue Peter moment, which I may or might, may or may not use depending on how much time we've got. But I did make this earlier and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to hop on along because it did take me over an hour. But that was a bit stop and start. So we shall see. I was doing a bit of the old multitasking. Right. You can hear me. I can see that my mic's working. That is a bonus. So... Let's go on the overhead. What I would suggest is that if this is completely new to you, is that you visit last week's tutorial, which is on YouTube, on how to make the star earrings, because it really is quite crucial to making all of these components. And after doing the tutorial, in my mind, I was trying to work out how I could adapt this to popping it on top of a bauble. And that's exactly what I've done. So it's my own design. And I would really, really appreciate you crediting me with the design. If you're set putting these up, posting this up anywhere, if you would, please. And that just allows me to get a little bit more coverage um, with regards to bringing tutorials to people free. Hello, Trisha. She said she'll watch on replay visiting her sister at the moment. Say hello to your sister and enjoy. And we will see you soon, Trisha. Right, so let's go on the overhead. Right, it would help. Let's not go on the overhead yet because I haven't positioned it. Right, let's get those at the ready. Oops. Now, I'm actually hoping that this time round, it's actually not mirror imaged, so we shall see. Oh, get me, it's not mirror imaged, brilliant. So, hello Carol. So, this, wrong way. Four millimetre beads, glass pearls. You can also use bicones, which... Black's not my colour, but I wanted to try using some bicones. I actually quite like the combo. Um, we only use six duos. Now, these are mini duos or super duos. I've used super duos in these, so either of those will work fine. I've also used two different coloured size 10 seed beads. Uh, and it's up to you on the tassels whether or not you just stitch them. I've got some of the gold hematite stars on the bottom of that one. This one I've made all of the stars. This one I have made using three millimeter check fire polished. So just to break it down, we're gonna start at the top, which is using the same method as we did last week for the earrings. The only difference is it's using four millimeter beads. Then we're going to make this bit and then finally the bottom part. OK, so let's keep that one at the top there. And push those to one side. That 
this is basically the, what you're going to be making except for these little bits are going to have seed beads instead of the three millimeter fire polished okay now with regards to your thread i've used nymo thread use as much as you can do you know honestly i can guarantee i'm going to get a knot <laughs> this is always what happens when you're live i'm gonna i'm bound to get a knot but i've got about two and a half to three meters of thread start in the middle and what that does is it means that you're working with less and it means that you don't have to add as much thread in afterwards i've waxed it as well with my usual wax and we are going to start with 12 of the four millimeter glass pearls okay now I'm using a size 10 beading needle and I'm literally going to add 12 on for, let's just shimmy along a bit, right, pop that there, but how many of you have done any baubles already? Would love to know if this is a completely new sort of dipping your toes in new waters or if this is something completely new hello trisha now trisha davis i'm not sure if you know but you were this week's giveaway winner and my apologies i should have messaged you so two four six eight ten eleven 12 okay so we've got our 12 in there and then what we're going to do is we're going to form a loop so we're going to push our needle back through the start again what i've also done is i've done this pattern several times so that i can try and um, do some little speedy hack so to speak but you might yes it is you trisha davis you might prefer to actually do separate components but if you can just pause the tutorial and bear with the bits that i've done to help you not having to attach needle and thread will save you time Okay, so that is going to fit over the top of your bauble, but we don't need that right now. What we're going to do to get a better tension is just tie an overhand knot once. You can do a double knot if you wish. Hello, Sally. Uh, Frances said she's done a few baubles, including my Christmas pud one last year. Yes, I think I'm either going to redo the Christmas pud, do another live on it, or just, if I can find it, pop the tutorial up. So I've just pushed my needle through the next bead. Let's come over a little bit, move that up. Okay, so like we did with the earrings, the star earrings, you're going to add two four millimeter. Now, if you're going to play around with different sizes, of beads you're gonna have to juggle around with different amounts because obviously I know that the four millimeter beads will fit so we're going to skip over the next bead and go through the next four mil and that sits just like so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more right there we go that's a bit easier visually to see isn't it so we're going to add another two beads and then we're going to skip over the next one so the threads coming out here go through the next bead after that 
Now, if your tension is a bit slack, you can always go back round it afterwards or just give it a gentle pull. So add two. Whoops. Miss one and go through one. So effectively what you do is you end up with six groups. one go through the next so Anne has made beaded baubles but nothing as elaborate as these well I thought that it's better to start with a mini bauble personally I find it's a long it's it takes a long time to do the larger ones it's very satisfying it's not very cost effective if you're selling them uh, unless you're doing it out of love it you really won't get back the time that you put in them so I thought at least showing you the mini baubles it's less daunting because you're not actually going to be doing as much and it's a lot you know it's a smaller project so there we go that is exactly the same as we did with the star earrings but just on a bigger scale which we did towards the last part of it now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do gold and silver on this one now Jane's done them before but usually with seed beads and the odd crystal uh, she's got a fair on Saturday so too late for that but she'll be having a go next week lovely and I think these make really lovely gifts for people as well they've just got haven't they got this Victorian edge to them right sorry I should have talked you through that I've popped a seed bead between those two and then I'm coming back through that one remember about following the thread path so that you don't actually see the thread then I'm going back through that one now bearing in mind we're not mirror image today I've actually found a button that allows me to actually do it in real view so we're going back round there okay now here's me saying that there's an easier way of doing it there's there's no reason why you couldn't actually add those three to begin with didn't think of that until I've just done it hello Linda hello Deb so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add two contrasting colored seed beads threads coming out that way we're gonna come in from the other side okay so you've got like a little foot there so we're going back round up to that now you could make separate components but this is going to save you so much time so what we're going to do now is we're going to add another silver we're going to go down through the second seed bead there hello Meg made it at last do not worry not a problem I'm going to go back across now I think it might help if I actually show you what I'm aiming for I'm just maneuvering my needle back so that it comes out at this one here now this is when it gets attached to actually oh oh I saved myself I didn't swear I've managed to knock my seed beads everywhere but then it wouldn't be me if I didn't would it it wouldn't be me right let's show you what we're aiming for so around this circle we are going to attach six of these star components so that is then going to go over there like so all right so at least you know where I'm kind of going with this now in order not to have to make each separate component and attach it 
what we're going to do is we're going to actually start the star now. So we count that as bead one as part of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 11 12 right I shall put you back on camera sorry about that let's just move these out of the way okay so you are coming out of this side here we are gonna anchor to the other side so you make a full circle now you may have a few problems with your tension okay but we are going to go back round now if you find that with the thread you're using your tension starts getting a you know the thread you can't get your needle through then do have a size 10 bit that size 12 beading needle at the ready just in case so we're making the center circle of the stars now when we come up to the one just before the center one that we stitched just take a stop right there okay so that's the one we stitched and what we're going to do is we're going to go over through I should say not over through the gold let's just turn that round through that gold and then through the next one so effectively you know when we miss a bead that's exactly what we're doing hopefully it'll make sense in a second so now we're going to add two gold it's coming out of this one here skip the next one and go through that one so i've just kind of reversed the process a little bit right okay so hello Jackie so we're missing one and go through the next one so Carol says you lost me how did you do the four beads before the circle don't worry Carol we're going to do that again in a second I'll do a couple of them because I'm very aware that it's this is the most difficult part of it after that it's an absolute breeze so I'm missing one going through so I think that little that little transition that you're mentioning there, Carol, is actually probably the harder part of it. So I'm missing one and going through one. Right, let's get some of the gold that I've managed to flick everywhere. Right. Add two miss one and go through that one and then go through the start one now we're going to pop the points on there now so let's just take stock and show you what we've done there okay so if we just pull this down we've as you can see we've got the points now and we're also going to put this little tail on here so it's easier to connect so I am just manoeuvring my needle down to get to the point. Just follow the thread path so that you don't show any of your thread. So I'm going to add a silver for the point and go through the next seed bead, the gold seed bead at the side. Go up through the next gold. And I wouldn't suggest you try and do this with me real time. I would suggest that you just enjoy in watching. Right, I've gone wrong. I've done a gold. We don't want a gold. We want a silver. So let's just take that off. Oh, happy Thanksgiving, Maureen, and anybody else that's from the US. Um, she's in Florida she's going out for a few hours for turkey dinner with friends how wonderful if you've got any photographs maureen that you'd like to share 
of your celebrations, do pop it in a beaders group, beaders of beads by Vichir. I would love to see it. Right, so I'm popping points on them all. Now, the one at the bottom is where we're going to actually add this little tail thing. So we're going back round. I just keep checking to make sure I'm in view. I hope that's in focus. It looks a little bit out of focus to me. Go through that one. I'm going to take my hand away. Okay. And I'm going to add two in silver and go the other side. So for those of you that have done ladder stitch before, this is like a ladder stitch. Okay, go up through that one. And then add two. Go down. And then hopefully... Hello, Maxine. And go back through that one. Okay, it's just, it's so much easier. If you can remember to do it here, it's a lot easier to connect. And then you carry on with all the other points. So it's just number one, two, three. It's point number four, the one in the middle that you want to add that extra little foot to so what i'm going to propose to do is i propose to do another star and then we will skip ahead and we will go to the next little stage all right so and also, it's just getting used to, like, I remember when I was first doing bead weaving, it's like, well, where do I put my needle? Where does that go? So that takes a little bit of just building your confidence. Now, if you find that some of the thread is showing, like the gold parts you could all, or the silver, you could always have, like, a metallic pen. Right, so I'm going to go across to the next group of two. And we're going to do another star. Okay. So, Carol, you were asking how we did this bit. So, we're going to start with one silver. So, basically, you're coming out of this bead and going in the other one. And then you're going to manoeuvre your needle so it goes through this one, that one, and that one. So you're going in a little triangle. I keep turning it round only because it's easier visually for me to, to work it that way. Oh, let's hope we don't have our first knot. I don't want any knots. Right, I'm just going to pop some of these bits out of the way. Okay, now you then do two, so add in two. So notice how thread is coming out of one side of the bead, then you're going to anchor it the other side. So you form in sort of a circular motion, like so. And then you're going to bring your needle back through the two. Let's move that one up and then add one in the middle so you're coming out of this one and you're going to go through that one for it to sit the right way and go back around all of those just so that you've got your positioning of the needle in the right way Right, 
So including, if we count that as one, that silver one, we're going to add 12, which includes that. So one, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So notice that your thread is coming out of this side. To make the circle, you anchor it the other side of that bead. And then you reinforce by going all the way back round. Now I do hope you're all okay. But let's let's have a little chat while we're doing this. Tell me about what sort of what have been your favourite decorations to make for Christmas or are you you know are you into making something else at the moment right so just to pause a moment is you can see that this is our one two three four so we're going to come out the bead before and then go up through the gold it's just so that you have the star looking exactly the same way as you would have done if you'd made it as a separate component. Right, I'll turn that round. And then skip over that centre one and go through, sorry, the next one. And then we're going to add blocks of two. So skip one. So your thread's coming out of that one. Skip the next one and go through the next bead. Try and avoid splitting your thread. Just keep checking to make sure I've not gone astray on the picture. Add two, skip over one. Now, when I was doing this earlier on, you could tell when you start getting a bit tired because you start making mistakes. Like I was skipping over two and um, I don't listen to my own advice, can I just say, but it probably is a good time to actually down your tools when that happens. Also, if you've got a daylight lamp, that's a really good thing, even even during the daylight, uh, particularly in the dark, you know, it's quite dark at the moment, isn't it? Um, even in daytime is, is to use that as well and have little breaks. So we're just making the points on this one. So we're going down through the gold through the silver one in between the gold beads just like we did in the um, tutorial last week with the star earrings and like I say if you missed it it's probably an idea to go and watch that first before you do this one because it will really help to break it down for you so Linda says she's done a few decks but loving wire work at the moment Fantastic. Oh, I'm loving your wire work, Linda. Really beautiful. Is that sort of mainly pendants or are there other bits that you're sort of enjoying doing? Right, so this is the one where we're actually making the additional part at the bottom. Now, this is... This is occasionally what happens with your thread when you've been hacking at it a little bit is that it does begin to part the ways. That's where it's quite handy to actually use your thread. There are times where I must admit probably if I was doing that I'd probably tie that off and add a fresh one because you just don't know whether or not you're losing the strength in the in the thread 
Right, so I'm adding two, it's coming out this side, add two, go the other side. Is this an okay pace for you all? You know, you can see why I mentioned about doing it in two parts, because it's quite, it's quite intensive, only in the sense that there's lots of little components. But I think once you've done one and you've broken it down, it really is a lot easier than it looks. Oh, earrings too. Fab. Right, so adding two, going down the other side. So it's only the middle one that you're doing this ladder type stitch for. Oh, come on. Have we got the first knot of the evening? Hopefully not. Good out, good out. Going through the next silver in between. Oh dear, I'm really eesh, not happy with this thread as it is at the minute. Anyway, we're going to switch to the other one in a moment. But it's good that you see it because at least you can see what it looks like when it's been a little bit overworked. And by overworked, what I mean is, you know, I've been pulling it, I've been getting it into knots. That's primarily the thing that, you know, it's when you're working with bigger thread as well. There are lots of other different types of thread. Now, Nymo's a really good all rounder, but um, there are other types of thread that are less susceptible to fraying um, I rather like I like the Mayuki thread as well that's really nice um, and the KO thread as well so I think everybody has their preference because I do so many projects I tend to use a lot of KO um, because it's a really good all-round and it's good on price as well right okay so that's that part now just a little tip now if i just show you this part here now we've done this okay you would have done so you carry on and you make all six components now i'm going to show you how you join those components with a little duo but what you could always do as you're going to save yourself potentially a little bit of time I'm just going to switch to the other thread over here because that's getting a bit battered and bruised. You could always, I haven't done this before, but in my mind I'm thinking, do you know, that might work as well, is to actually add the super duos after every two. Right, so let's just, I'm just going to reposition my needle a second. So I'm just showing you a possibility that you could do as you're going rather than at the end. Right. It's also a good idea to have a pair of chain nose pliers as well. Now, this is the only thing in actually working it quite a lot. Now, let's just pull that through. Now, this is what you could always do rather than going back to the start, is to actually add our super duos in between or mini duos. I just lay that flat. You see, that one goes to that one that one goes to that one what I would suggest Carol is probably it's it's really difficult to do this real time um, and if you're struggling with the star it might be an idea to actually um, have a look back at the last week's one that we did as well um, 
and also you can go back with the tutorial and and pause it is there anything in particular that you're finding is a bit of a challenge is it going in different directions or how you stitch it so i'm coming out of this one and i'm going up through this one this is how you join them like so and then you've obviously you've got to manoeuvre your needle so that you come this way. So I would then bring your needle back round. Do you know what bigger beads is is a is a better thing to do? Have a practice with larger beads. Um, you know, practice this method with your four mil or your size six size eight that's a really good shout um carol right so we're going to go through the bottom hole of the duos so can you see i'm linking there to there so you're coming out of the bottom make sure you mirror which direction to the other side Okay, so that's how you join them. So you could do two stars at a time and then join it and it save you having to reposition your needle and go all the way back round all of them. So then you could bring your needle around here and start your third star. I think that would be a lot quicker. All right, so we're going to bank that because we are sort of running out of time a little bit. So this is what you would have done you would have done uh, these or six now I'm going to tie these off and I'm actually going to tie some new thread in so it's a really good thing to show you because you'll actually be able to see if you need to tie off thread how you do it and also if you want to tie in thread how you do it now I am going to go under a thread or in between beads and before you pull it just tie a knot do that in two to three places I would suggest that when you're adding new thread in if you can do it with the bigger beads because when you do it by the smaller beads you're taking up some of the space and you might find it really difficult to actually get your needle through now I'm not going to take that through I'll just take that through there Excuse me, talking to myself, making no sense whatsoever. Flicking beads around again. Now, before you cut, it's always an idea to push your needle through another one. Now, I'm going to add some new thread in. No problem. Deb's got a shoot off. Thanks for joining, Deb. Maxine says that's very pretty. I'm glad you like it. Um, I hope it's not sort of horrifyingly, you know, too fiddly and challenging. Now, where did that come out of? Can't remember. So let's go there. You can use either a thread zapper if you've got them or a nice sharp pair of embroidery scissors. Right. just gonna cut some thread right I'm gonna cut a new piece again work as long as you can I might actually do a halfway thing again and what I mean by that is I will just leave half of the thread where I add it so it's just a little bit easier and you're not actually working with loads of thread so what I mean by that is I'm going to pull it through and leave half of it this side so to add in preferably don't stitch your skin it's not a good look and it's yeah not the best as I'm doing it gets stuck around everything and before you pull that tight just go through the loop 
Maureen said, I'm in awe that you're so talented and you come up with these designs. I don't feel talented. I just love what I do. And I have to confess as well that these ideas haven't always come to me. Um, you know, it's just through doing more and more things and remembering jotting down what comes into your mind because that's a lot of it is well you had that great thought but if you're anything like me I forget so you know write write them down um fortunately for me I've got sort of a catalog that I can look back on the video tutorial so it even if it doesn't flow to you now it doesn't mean that it won't it's just having that little bit of confidence as well but you know i look at people's designs where they use all of these different pit beads and all the different check shapes and i think how how did they come up with that so you know i think we're always in awe of other people's work aren't we right so we are gonna go and attach all of these duos at the side now how are we doing oh gosh taking longer than i thought right no those are seed beads we want duos there we go so we're coming out of this one and we've attached a duo and we come underneath this one like so and I've made a mistake because I've gone through the wrong part so let's go through this one and then you want to maneuver your needle down so you come out of this one and this is this is to be honest the bit that takes time and I must stop rushing because I'm just going to make all of this thread really dog-eared. Because at the end of the day, if you find, you know, you want to come back later, you can do. Hopefully, I'll... I've got to stop rushing because it's not doing me any good. I'm getting in a pickle. And to be perfectly honest, there's not a huge amount. Once we've got the super duos in, there's not a huge amount left to do. Right, so I'm going, so I'm bringing my needle out in fact, I might go a bit further down. I'm just going to move some of these things out of the way because I'm getting stuck around everything. Let's pull that nice and slowly this time. Now this is the bit that I found that the tension was difficult to get right. So what I'd suggest in this bit is literally do take it steady. So can you see how I'm adding that? So those silver bits on those ends are where we connect them. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so I'm gonna go round. I'm gonna maneuver my needle round to the next group now. And this is where it's handy to have your pliers um, in case you've got a tight spot to pull it into. And also perhaps even your size 12 beading needle as well. What does the 12, size 12 beading needle do? It basically, <laughs> it's a smaller eye of the needle, but it's easier to pull through because it's slightly finer right, let's just pull that gradually
Now, Anne says she's got the concentration span, span? <laughs> span of an amoeba and a memory of a goldfish. And so have I. Do you know what? I, I had a meeting with a lady from church the other day. I help out with um, church children very much in the background. Um, but her and myself wanted to start introducing some music to the kids in the background you know some fun um, music and carols and um, I went down to her house and I played through the three pieces that we chose and then I said oh I'm going to write that in my phone so I remember I mean bear in mind it's only it's only three pieces for goodness sake three pieces um well, anyway, I didn't, but I thought, you know, when I get home, that's all right. I'll just write it down. Well, I sat there. Bearing in mind, I'd only played it like five, ten minutes before that. And I couldn't remember what we'd done. I got two out of three right. So I phoned her up and I said, look, at this rate, I'm going to be playing, you know, like Calypso Christmas or something completely different. Actually, I quite like Calypso Christmas. It's rather fun. Um yeah so she was very understanding I, I do put it down to my age and um my menopausal brain but oh my goodness it's like really but yeah so it's a bit of a miracle i actually remember how to do these if i'm perfectly honest Hopefully you're following me because I'm not sort of giving you an update on everything I'm doing. Now the other thing you can do is you can use your beads up here to manoeuvre around. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So yeah, absolutely terrible memory. I've never been great, um, which which is why whenever you order anything from me, um, you get a list. I know if I've ordered from other people on Facebook, they just give me a total. I have to be honest, I don't really like that because I can't remember what I ordered. Um, but when when you do order from me on Facebook. I will actually send you an itinerary in the Facebook um, thread and that's as much for my benefit so that I can actually go back and see exactly what it is you've ordered. Feels like I've added loads but I've only added two. But you're going to have to bear with me because I haven't done any more Blue Peter moments on this one. Right, I'm going to start on the bottom one this time. No, didn't want that. But does this all seem okay to everybody? Am I sort of demonstrating it okay for you. Maureen said that sounds familiar. And it is very very handy having the good old reminders in my phone. My daughter said mum just put reminders in your phone. Um, but you got to remember to put the reminders in haven't you? <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate the list of orders, Francis, because I'm exactly the same. And I think as well is that if you're um, if you're actually making to sell, you are going to want a reminder of what you actually paid for those particular beads. And if you've just got a one, you know, if you've just got one figure 
that makes life really difficult, doesn't it, to go back. And also, you can't remember what, you know, perhaps if you've bought gemstones, you don't know what the beads are. Um, so, you know, it, it, I think it's a good all-rounder, really. And I often forget what I've sold things for in terms of price as well. So it's a good reference point for me. Telling you all my foibles, but then I think you probably know many of those already. Right, so we're we're halfway through this bit. I am trying to show you as we go along. Do you know what? I think I've already tied that off so I'm going to just cut that tail there we go it's getting in my way this is the only thing that I I do worry about when I'm doing really long tutorials is that you know I'm boring the pants off you <laughs> but hopefully you know you'll just um pause and watch what watch what's relevant but you're getting the gist, getting the gist of it. Not doing too badly for time, considering it took me probably an hour and a half-ish to do one from start to finish. Right. I was talking to my mum the other day and we were just saying, you know, the baubles are gorgeous, aren't they? And I said, you know, could you imagine if you'd made a big bauble for someone and you'd spent like all of those hours doing it and they're like, oh, lovely, thank you, and pop it to one side, wouldn't you be so gutted? You'd be, <laughs> you'd be like, excuse me, excuse me, can, can you just at least take a minute to look at that when it took me like five hours <laughs> I think I'd have to it sounds terrible doesn't it you'd, you'd want to like put in a note in the box wouldn't you to say that's what you could do you could say handmade with love took me x amount of hours <laughs> You wouldn't really do that but you could say it's used it's made using needle and thread techniques seed beads beads and then they probably still wouldn't get it but then i don't think you'd probably gift that to someone that was like that would you really but i i, I guess really we're not born knowing are we unless you unless you make them yourself i suppose it's like you know any artistry isn't it woodwork um paintings you just don't know do you right so nearly there ish does anybody actually looking at this and think do you know what i'm going to give that a go or it's like oh no way no way but there you go it's come oh there we go it's coming along nicely I probably won't add it until the last part, you know, like the last one. So you don't have to add it on just yet. But it's just this manoeuvring through the beads that takes the, the longest part. But the reason why I chose the super duos to go in the middle is I wanted to connect them all together because it just I just wanted it to flow. But if anybody wants any projects for super duos, we did some fabulous little projects earlier in the year some really nice ropes so francis has got to go no problem you enjoy your evening and your cribbage 
Is that right? Have I pronounced that correctly? Right, this is getting a wee bit tight now. I'm just waiting for one of the beads to crack. We don't want that. No. Right. Right. Do bear with. Bear with. I'm not quite sure why. Right. My throat. My thread has snapped there, but that's okay. Putting it too hard. Right. But at least by these long projects, you can see what can go wrong. But, you know, don't despair. But that's also the good thing about having that other half uh, thread that we can go to as well. Right, so two more duos left to join and then we can start the final, sounds like the final countdown, doesn't it? The final adding on part. But we should be finished within the hour and a half which is what we allocated I'm doing a really really good job of actually tearing my thread what am I doing Just making sure we're back on camera there. Okay. Has anybody been watching I'm a Celeb? Does anybody like people watching? I found it quite fascinating. And that your opinions change your people every day. But we, we do watch it every year, I must confess. I okie dokers. Now, I am going to tie this one off because I'm not happy with the state of the thread. And then I'm going to start on the other thread. Just okay, like a little hat, it's like a little crown look. Let's tie that off. Take my own advice and tie it off by the four mils. Right, so we've got one more left to do and then I will show you how we start on the base part. Hello Jan, don't worry that you're late, you can watch it back at, at your leisure. goodness sake right let's just pull that through and cut that right I'm just cutting off the thread because I'm not happy with that pop that in the bin right we've just got one more left to do so just to be on the safe side I am going to pop that on the bauble 
what you could always do as well is excuse me if you don't want to lose it off the top of your ball ball is just grab a um, bulldog clip and just pop it on the top here and it just prevents it from coming off while you're working it right let's take that off for now while we just maneuver to the so this is the last super duo Oh, sorry, I'm not even on camera. Do you know, I can't get used to being not mirror image. Isn't that bizarre? Oh, I missed a silver bead. I better do that before we add it. Do you see it? It's naughty, naughty. Easy enough to add. So last one, pop that on. It might come off anyway, but just in case. We wouldn't want to stitch it and find we can't actually get it on the bauble. Right, so what we're going to do after this is we're going to make a base exactly the same way as we made the start and then we're going to attach it to this part. I was going to show you in one hit in the sense of how you could do it without bringing in a new piece but to be honest with you I'm going to stick with my original plan and show it in two parts because in the sense of not stitching it in one because I think it's going to look too complicated. I think just doing it, making the bottom part separate and then joining it. Hello Sue, did you fall asleep on here or <laughs> hopefully not? Or before, I have to confess I had a snooze earlier too. Right, let's just take stock, okay? So that's the bulk of it done, all right? So let's bank that. Let's bank that and we'll cut this one up. We're gonna make another one of these, but I'm gonna cut this up, we'll start again and I'll use the beads. No, it was before, oh, that was a relief. <laughs> Uh. right so i'm going to start a new thread this is what we're going to make this part here and then we're going to join this part to this part okay hopefully that will make sense so as you can see do you know what it uses loads and loads of thread however I don't know what I was going to say, completely lost my train of thought, excuse me, rummaging around. I need some more thread. Okay, I'm going to cut about a metre and a half because you allow for the tassels at the end as well. Right. Now I'm keeping the needle on that one, with the one that we've just finished. How are we doing? Oh, 25 minutes. Yeah, we'll do that. Providing I don't get in any more knots, but I'm going to use a different thread. I'm going to use fire line for this little bit. Not for any particular reason, other than that's all I can put my hands on right now. Right, so this is what we did at the start. 12 1 2 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, oh. Sue said she had her teeth had teeth out yesterday, and she's still very sore. So just been sat watching a film, and next it's seven p.m. Oh bless you! Two, oh, six, eight, ten, twelve. It's horrible having your teeth done, isn't it? Right, so we're going all the way back round again. Like we did at the start. Reinforce all the way back round. And then when you get to the other thread, we're just going to tie a knot. So we get to there, when you tie that knot, that will actually pull it in, like so. Push it through one of the beads, doesn't matter which way. And then as we did at the start, we are going to add two. Skip the next one and go through the one after that. So you're going to end up again with six groups of two skip over a bead so you basically you're going through every other one Ooh. so you can see my concentration starting to go I'm adding one instead of two beads. And then our bauble will be a complete beaded bauble in the next round. Oh, that's come off, which is not a problem. It won't in the next round. Sorry, there we go. I ought to have like an X marks the spot so that I can make sure I stay in sight all the time. So step up into the first group of two. Like so. Now we are going to need a silver bead. And let's pop this on here. And what I would do first is actually anchor it to the piece that you've got. So just go back round there. So do the triangle. And then go back through that seed bead. Okay, and then you see where these little feet are that we made. Well, what you want to do is you want to attach that to one of those. So we're going to go through the one on the left because my thread's on the left. Go down 
second one right ladder stitch okay just show you that and then we go across the other side so you can see your threads coming out this side so we go through that side let's just And then we're going to go around to the next one and I'm going to pull that tie in a second. Now I need to tie this one off up here because it's coming undone, bear with. Can you see how that's coming undone? Not in it. Right. Let's pop that back on. Right, let's flip that over. And then we're going to go along to the next group of two. Time for a cuppa, is it, Carol? She can't thread her needle. We all have moments like that. Normally mine is when I'm doing a live tutorial. Okay, so we're going to go... Oh, so we add it on this one first. It's quite fiddly to actually show you to be perfectly honest hopefully you're following it okay Got all these threads everywhere right so we're gonna thread is coming this side so we're gonna go up through this one what you could always do is you could always go up through all of them and get the tension a bit better on it still coming undone how rude and then go back down Okay, all right so far. These are so pretty. I'm glad you like them. Right, so two out of six. Let's just work our way. Oh dear, keep coming off screen. So we're adding a silver bead and then we're just going to attach it to the top. So go through, back through that bead and then we're going to go all up through those ladders. I think that's easier than just going through two because the tension is a little bit better, it's a bit tighter. Okay. So what I would suggest, if you're going to go back and do these, is do it bit by bit so start with the top make the top maybe have a break or do one of your stars and just break it down into bite-sized chunks because 
otherwise you'll get that overwhelm potentially right, so we're getting there that's absolutely not cheating at all carol in fact that is just like dedication because you know as carol said you can make all of these components separate not a problem at all visually it might work for you you know whatever in your mindset whatever works for you is i can sort of show you some tips and tricks but those tips and tricks might actually make life a little bit more complicated because you've got to bear in mind that our brains tick in very different ways we also all learn in very different ways as well but you know even if it means you do a little prototype that's bigger <laughs> I wouldn't suggest a bigger bauble perhaps but you know some of the components is just if you want to be able to visually see it a little bit better then you might want to just make them with bigger beads and then you've got that understanding in your mind. That's why I'm always not reluctant because I, I don't mind, you know, what time it takes to do the tutorials at all. But I'm always very conscious that it's like, oh my goodness, this is overwhelming, it's a bit boring. Um, hopefully it isn't. Right, I've got two of those left. Now, I will possibly just talk you through one of the components on the bottom. When we get there rather than do all three because i don't think we're going to have time to do all three but i don't think we need to to be honest i think you'll get the gist of it right on the last the last join now Yeah, come back. And also, perhaps you could, you know, if you've got any questions, pop them in our beaders of beads by Vachil. If I'm not there to help, I'm sure, you know, if I'm not immediately there, I'm sure some of the other team will be able to help you as well. But if you've got any questions or any tips on, you know, what worked for you, do make sure you share. And, you know, perhaps you want you might want to share each stage as well. Now, can you see that part of it's starting to separate? So, you know, you might want to just take stock to tighten that up a bit but obviously I am rather rushing okay okie dokie dokies right that's our bauble joined so just to recap before we do the final bit right why 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 Isn't that typical? You just finish the last bit and then you get in a pickle. There we go. I think. Yes? No? No? Not quite. 
right that's just my other tail there so can you see how that is all joined and the bottom now what we're going to do for the bottom is we're going to make it a little bit tighter so we're going to actually come out through one of them and we're actually going to add six okay so add one skip a bead and go through the next one add one skip over the next bead do the same again add one add one So it's very, very similar to doing peyote. But if you get a block through peyote, it's not peyote. Right, I thought I'd gone wrong there. I've actually... On over two right so I'm actually going to pop my needle up through the first one okay and join all of those six so just push your needle through all those six Now, last bit. So how neat's that now? So sweet. Right, I'm gonna add the gold ones at the bottom now so that you can see them. So we're gonna add a gold seed bead. Skip this one and go through the next one. So effectively you're gonna have three gold seed beads. Add one, skip over this one, go through that one. Hello Lydia, don't worry. We just we're just kind of finishing off. Add one. Go through one. And again, join those three. One, two, Just go back round again. Okay, right, last bit. So let's just show you that. All right, so we did this exactly the same as the start. We did an extra six and then three. Okay, so this is the what we've done. The top using the star method. Six star components. You can join them as you go or join them afterwards. And then we added the last one. So now we're going to do a tassel. Now, if you look at this, I have just done exactly the same, but <laughs> not exactly the same, is it? I've just varied the lengths on this one. Okay, so I have stitched one either side of the bead. So I propose to do show you how to do one of them but you can very much do whatever you want on this little bit but um i'm conscious that you know you're probably going to want some guidance on it so we've got five minutes left let's see what we get done in that time so i'm going to add a gold this is very much up to you as to what you want to add three silver a gold So this is my first one. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to add, I've got to try and remember how to do it now. 
right I've got to try and bring this on its side so I've added those and then I'm going to go the other side so that puts that bead on its side okay the problem is trying to get it to sit right like so and then I'm going to add two gold and pop it through the other side now as Carol said you can do this as separate components if you want to did that happen? Bear with, bear with. I'm not convinced I'm making this look particularly easy. just show you that so I've got one on the side two gold like so and then a silver on its side as well so I'm going to go back up that gold one Okay, it's a bit wonky donkey, but hopefully that'll rectify as we're going along. Okay, so that's going to be the start of the star. Count that as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we're going to go in the other side. Reinforce back round. Now, if you remember earlier on, when you get to the bead before the centre one, make a stop, bring it up into the gold. And then back down so we're not doing anything fresh in this one and then we're going to do two uh, six groups of two like we did with the star earrings and at the start here now you might find it easier to make separate components and add it in you might just want to add some beads on it that's fine too but it just wanted to give you a little bit of inspiration. Now we're coming to the last couple of minutes. I must admit it's taken me longer than I thought it would. Cool, my neck's aching now. Okay, and then you would go around, you'd make your star points on that as well. So I'm not going to show you the star points because we've already done those. But I would actually bring it back up. Okay, bring your thread up. This is only how I found it easier to do. So if we get to the top, you see these gold beads. Now I'm coming out of this side of that gold bead. So I'm going to anchor the top the other side. Okay, which just makes it sit better. Probably not when you've created a knot like I've just done. And then go along to the next one. Okay, so what I'm getting at is you let me show you some of them before we finish 
So you make it as long or as short as you want to. You could even make one of these and dangle that off the bottom if you want to, or if you've got a charm. So this one, I actually did two smaller ones and then a bigger star in three millimeter check with a little dangle. And this one, super easy, I just made some dangles with some hematite stars. Okay, so let's just show you what they all look like. There we go. So I am going to call it a day with that because we've just been over an hour and a half now. It's the longest one we've done. Um, let me know on reflection whether or not you would still be happy for future long ones um, to be put together or if you prefer them in sections. Um, but I do plan on doing some paid for workshops um, probably on YouTube um, or possibly Zoom. Um, just sort of mini workshops, nothing sort of very expensive, just where you get your own materials together. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, that's something I very much like to get started. Um, but I want to sort of put the feelers out there as to, you know, how many of you would like to do that. Anyway, thank you so much for your time. Um, no problem if you've just watched a little bit of it and you're coming back to it. I'm going to actually get this uploaded probably Friday, Saturday onto YouTube as well so that you can easily access it. Um, so pleased you enjoyed. Thank you for your lovely comments. Take care and don't forget if you make it, please share it in Beaders of Beads by Vachil. If you've got any problems, pop a comment in there and we'll see what we can do to help you. Take care. Bye.